Here's a simple question with an annoying answer. How do you make gradient box shadows? If you're thinking, well, that's a dumb question, you can just do something like this. No, you are wrong. How the tables have turned. There's two ways to do this that I know of, and they're both essentially the same thing, so I just figured I'd show you both of them. We're gonna do it in both normal CSS and Tailwind CSS, so I don't get any more common threads arguing about the good and the bad of Tailwind. Unless you really want to, it's good for engagement, all the comments anyways. Yeah, go ahead and argue, I don't care. Anyways, let's get into the code. First things first, get an element you want to add a shadow to. I've got this beautiful little card here to start. Wrap the element with another element. I'm just going to use a div. Then add a class name to that element. And in your CSS for that class, set the position to relative on that element. Next, using the before pseudo element, set content to an empty string, position to absolute, Z index to zero, and an inset of zero. Inset is just a shorthand for saying top, left, bottom, and right, all of zero. Give it some background color. We'll just start with black so we can see it. And now we can zoom into the little corners around my card where they're rounded, and we'll see that we have this black background kind of just like poking through the back. We'll switch the background to a gradient and then translate it a bit on the Y axis so it's below our element. And now we've got a box slightly below our main box. Let's scale it down a bit to make it look like our card is like sticking off of the page a little bit. And then finally, we can just add some blur with the filter property. And just like that, we've got ourselves a gradient shadow. Since I promised I'd show you how to do this with Tailwind as well, here we go. Position relative, before, and then a colon to specify the before element, content to an empty string, position absolute, Z index zero, inset zero, translate Y six, scale 90, add our gradient, add our blur, and bam, Tailwind achieved. Now, if you don't wanna do this using pseudo elements, you can also just use a normal element. This one's a pro component from my website, hover.dev, but you can get it for free here because I like it. There's a bunch of extra stuff that we could ignore, but just notice that we have a wrapping div with a position of relative on it so that we can have an inner element with a position set to absolute. Our main button element, the thing that we actually want the shadow on, has a position of relative as well with a Z index of 10. Our shadow element has, well, a bunch of stuff specific to this example, which we can ignore, but mainly position absolute, some inset, in this case, making it larger than the main element because I thought it looked nice. So that's just using a negative inset value. Our gradient and some blur to make it look all shadowy. I'm doing some other stuff like changing the opacity when the group is hovered and setting transform style to 3D because animating blur kind of explodes on some browsers with it, but that's the idea. Make the main element, make a wrapping element, make a shadow element, and add some blur. If you enjoyed this video, I really think that you would enjoy my new website, hover.dev. Hover is a library of animated UI components for React, Tailwind CSS, and libraries like Frame or Motion. There's a bunch of free stuff as well as some other paid stuff. It's $27 one time, no recurring subscription or anything like that that you'll forget to cancel. In my humble opinion, I think that's a steal given the number of hours that I'm putting into building these components. So if you're interested in learning more about cool animations and interactions, go check that out. You can copy and paste code directly into your projects and use them for your personal projects or client projects or for your startup, whatever you want, as many times as you want for a one-time fee. There's a link in the description for that. Like and subscribe, comment for the algorithm if you got any value out of this. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.